Hey, PK third grade. Here is a bonus lesson based on 12.5 that I want to go over with you. So I'm going to put that up in the corner here. This is bonus material for 12.5. little bonus material for 12.5. I'm going to talk about it. But what would be great is for you to get a piece of paper and go ahead and try to copy this. You may pause the video and then you can copy this out and take your time. That would be the best thing to do. You don't have to pause right now. You can go back and rewatch it. But I am going to talk about this flow chart. A flow chart is a chart that shows how things are connected and how things go from one end to another. And I wanted to discuss polygons with you today. And this flow chart is all about polygons and how they relate to one another. So first of all, we know that polygons are straight-sided closed shapes. That is the top of our flow chart. That is the very top. I'm going to pull it down just a little so you can see here. Polygons. So this is what we're starting with. We're starting with polygons. And if you think of an umbrella, if you just kind of think of a, a, a little umbrella at the beach right there, like this, there it is, awesome. And it's got that right there. And it kind of comes down. And this polygons is the main canopy of the umbrella. It's the main part because everything underneath here is a polygon. Everything that we're going to talk about relates to polygons. So as we go from polygons, one type of polygon is a quadrilateral. Now something else I could do, I could actually draw something over here and put triangles because triangles are three-sided shapes. Quadrilaterals are four-sided figures or four-sided shapes. And if I went this direction, I could say pentagons, hexagons, octagons, decagons, dodecagons, and so forth. In other words, I could have a branch coming off polygons for each one of those different shapes. Today, I just want the quadrilaterals branch. So it's the one part of the umbrella that's just hanging down straight down for four-sided figures. Everything that is on this chart is a four-sided figure. Everything. Okay, so now we move along from quadrilaterals. And everything below quadrilaterals, like I said, is four-sided. So over here, we're going to talk about the types of sides they have. And the first one that we're going to discuss is the trapezium. Now I put it in red because it is a bonus word. You do not have to know what a trapezium is for third grade, but it is kind of important to know. If you take a look at a trapezium, it has four sides, one, two, three, four, but none of the sides are parallel. So no parallel sides on a trapezium. Nothing relates. The four different sides are all different lengths and four different sides do not have anything in common. There's no parallel lines. There's no perpendicular lines. Actually, there could be perpendicular. It could be a right angle in there as a possibility. But we don't see anything related like we do with a parallelogram. If we jump over to the other side, we have a trapezoid. Now, a trapezoid you do need to know about in third grade. And it has one pair of parallel sides. If you take a look at this line and this line, you will see, as we've shown before, if we extend them out forever. So if I kind of show that this line goes out forever and this line goes out forever, you will see that they are parallel. They are not going to connect at any point in time or cross. These two lines, this line and this line, is a pair. Remember, pair means two. These two lines here are not parallel, and you can see that they would cross above the figure. Way up here, they would end up crossing and intersecting, as we say. So those are intersecting eventually. So a trapezoid, one pair of parallel sides, still has four sides, one, two, three, four. So it is a quadrilateral. This is a polygon, because if you go up the chart, 
you will see that it still flows down from being a polygon. This is a trapezoid. This is a quadrilateral. This is a polygon. It has three different names, three different categories it falls into. Now, we're going to look at the main section here, and that is the parallelogram. I put parallelogram in red again because in third grade you are not required to know this word, but you should know what a parallelogram is. A parallelogram is any quadrilateral, four sides, one, two, three, four, that has two pairs of parallel sides. Notice the opposite sides are parallel to each other. These two are parallel and these two are parallel. So that is a pair of parallel sides. That is a pair of parallel sides. Two pairs of parallel sides for a total of four sides once again. The parallelogram comes in different forms. So let's take a look at those different forms. First, we have the rectangle. This is the one you're most familiar with. This rectangle has four right angles. An angle here, 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 and here, all equaling 90 degrees. For it to be a rectangle, it has to have four right angles. Also, its opposite sides are of equal length and parallel to each other. Parallelogram, rectangle. Oh, a rectangle is a type of parallelogram. Yes, because it has two pairs of parallel sides. So the rectangle is a type of parallelogram, which is a type of quadrilateral, which is a polygon. So in other words, this guy right here is a rectangle, it's a parallelogram, it's a quadrilateral, and it's a polygon. It's all four things in one shape. If we bump over to the side a little bit, let's take a look at the rhombus. The rhombus is another parallelogram. The rhombus has four equal sides. Notice that all the sides are the same length. The opposite sides are still parallel to each other. So these guys are parallel. And if I did it in blue, these guys are parallel. Two pairs of parallel sides? Check. But these sides are all the same length. Over here at the rectangle, they were different lengths on the sides. Also here, we do not have right angles. Here we have right angles. Here we don't have right angles. But a rhombus is a special type of parallelogram which is a special type of quadrilateral, which is a polygon. Now, our most special shape of all is the square. The square happens to be all of these things in one shape. The square is a rectangle. I know you're looking at it and saying, uh, Mr. Warner, the square is a square. You're right. But all squares are actually just special rectangles because they have all equal sides, like the rhombus. And that means the square is also a rhombus. So the square is both a rhombus, a special type of rhombus, and a rectangle, a very special type of rectangle. So the square is all of these things. A square is a rhombus, a rectangle, a parallelogram, a quadrilateral, and a polygon, all in one shape. So if you haven't already, pause the video and make sure you write this down. I am going to mention one or two more things here. As you go through in math, they are going to be giving you the all, some, or none questions. And these are difficult. So I want to kind of give you an idea of how to use this chart to help you out with that. Often they will say things like, some rectangles are squares. 
Well, let's check on that. Can you find a rectangle that is a square? Sure, this is a rectangle and it is a square. Sometimes rectangles are squares. What if I said all rectangles are squares? Is that true or false? Think about it for a minute. All rectangles are squares. Can you find a rectangle that is not a square? How about my eraser? That's a rectangle. Is it a square? No. Is my mat a square? No. Is this rectangle that I drew a square? No. So all rectangles are squares is not a true statement. But if I said all squares are rectangles, if you find any squares and you say that's a square, here's a square that's a sticky note. There we go. Oops. There's a sticky note square. We also have a pattern block square. We also have my square right here that I drew. That's a square, that's a square, square that's a square. Is that a rectangle? Yes. Is this a rectangle? Yes, it's a special type of rectangle. Is this big one over here a rectangle? Yes, it is. All three of these are actually rectangles. So all squares are rectangles is a true statement. Every square you find is also a rectangle. It's also a parallelogram and a quadrilateral and a polygon as well. So these types of questions are difficult. Let me try to give you one more. Um, some rhombuses are quadrilaterals. Well, is a rhombus a type of quadrilateral? Quadrilateral, check your flow chart. Rhombus is a quadrilateral, it flows down. So some rhombuses are quadrilaterals is true. In fact, all rhombuses are quadrilaterals because they have four sides. All squares are polygons, true or false? True. All squares are polygons because they have straight sides and squares are closed. Therefore, they are polygons. So as you do these all, some, or none questions, think slowly and carefully about the type of question it's asking and then try to find examples and think, wait, that fits every single time or I can find some times where that isn't true. That will help you, and this flowchart should help you picture a little bit better about what you're looking for.